Well, I definitely wasn't out fast. Um, that was pretty evident, but I'd say I felt more composed than normal. Even with the, I did feel the nerves going into that first hundred. Um, and you know, sort of, it sort of takes you back a little bit, um, slows you down, but I definitely felt a lot more composed um, going through that first hundred. I really felt like I knew the situation I was in, and I really knew what I had to do the last hundred. So, um, I feel like it was a lot of doing a lot of racing stuff over the summer. Um, like knowing what I'm getting into when I'm swimming, knowing the event that you're doing um, really, really helped um, in the sense of being able to come back in the last hundred and not getting nervous in the first hundred. I've been trying to go out a little faster. Um, maybe it doesn't work all the time. Um, but I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress. Um, I obviously know that going out a little faster is going to help in the long run because there's a lot of time to be taken out there. Um, but I don't want to turn into a complete sprinter because then I don't want to I don't want to take out what's been working for so long. Um, I just want to improve on what's already there in the first hundred rather than trying to add a lot of sprint stuff in. Going out 28 in the first 50, that's just not really me. Um, but definitely improving on start work, um, improving on composure on the first hundred, sort of getting, feeling my stroke a lot faster, um, a lot earlier into the race as well is definitely gonna help as I go along. I was there for around two and a half months, I'd say, maybe like a little more. Um, and I'd say, it's definitely, I'd say the training is different than Penn or like other teams have been at. Um, so it was good to get that variety in my training. Um, I definitely picked up a lot, um, just uh, maybe like more stroke oriented, um, like uh, focusing on drills, um, focusing a lot more on separating the pull and kick um, is something I really improved on this summer. Um, originally I was just sort of like a pure just breaststroker, but I think it really helped my overall breaststroke to start doing just individual, a lot of individual breaststroke pull, a lot of individual breaststroke kick, and that's something to really focus on there, and I think that definitely helped in the long run. Um, it was also good to just get a lot of long course training in. I mean, this is the longest stretch of long course training I've done probably ever off the top of my head and so that was definitely gave great momentum going into this meet. Has there been a breaststroker that you've uh, looked up to over the years that you know, has been you know, established that's kind of motivated you or inspired you? Um, obviously all of the American breaststrokers over the past years have inspired me. Um, I'd say I definitely am a second hundred swimmer and a 200 breast, so um, I'd say I sort of split it like a Stumblebee Cook or a Chupkov. Um, so those have been people that have been very like, that I've been kind of watching because they kind of like, I sort of emulate what they do, whether it's, I mean, I don't emulate. I sort of do what they do, but it's not because of them. It's just what I do. So it's been nice to see how they improve and go over the course of the years. But um, I'd say when I started to uh, take notice in this is when I saw, I think it was 2016, the Olympic trials is when Josh Minot came back on everyone that last 50. Um, and I think that's what sort of started it for me. I mean, I had been, I've always been sort of a back half swimmer. That's just been me. Um, I've always been a distance swimmer. Um, but I think that race is the first one I really saw and sort of um, internalize it in terms of the tuna breast. 